Hello everyone, Tyson the Skeleton here, and welcome to another video. Today we have my top 10 most wanted death battles. Now, most of you should know by now that I love death battle, as you can tell from my death battle trailers. Uh, it is honestly my favorite series on YouTube, and with this love for death battle, we are, there are some matchups that I like to see happen. And today I'll be sharing my top 10 most wanted. I did make some images showing my top 10 most wanted in the past, but I'm making a video version anyways. Plus, some small things kind of changed from those last ones, so yeah. I should note that these are my opinions. Not everyone will agree that these are good, and that's perfectly fine. I do ask that you do be respectful in the comments if you do disagree. Also, I'm aware that most of these won't happen, mostly because they feature characters that might not be suitable for death battle, or maybe because some of the of these have been deconfirmed, or maybe because some of these don't make sense and are mostly guilty pleasure matchups. So I am aware that some of these might not or never happen as death battles, but I would be extremely happy if they do, somehow. With that all being said, let's begin. Starting off, we have my most wanted, Lloyd Garmadon from Ninjago versus Prince Lavelle from Legend of Chima. Now, this one's kind of a guilty pleasure matchup because they don't have much in common except for being main protagonists from Lego-based series from my childhood. Kai probably makes more sense for Lavelle, but I like this more for some reasons. I think it can be a cool Lego fight though, and seeing Lloyd and Lavelle using their abilities would be epic. I think this could work as a stop motion fight, because I don't see it working with any other animation style except for maybe hand drawn. And I would like it to, but I would like to, it to be stop motion, or at least an animation style that could work with Lego. But yeah, this is my number one most wanted. It's not particularly a good matchup, but I like it and would be so fucking happy if it happened for at Death Bow. So yeah, this is my most wanted. This next idea is a matchup where while both characters have better, I for some reasons prefer they fight each other. SpongeBob versus Gumball is a matchup that I still like. Yes, they do have better. SpongeBob has Chowder and Gumball has Buster Bunny. But for some reason, I really prefer this. I did hear that someone in the Deep Death Battle team doesn't like this matchup, which probably means this might not happen, which is kind of sad. But I still like this matchup. I think you can have a really fun and wacky fight between the two. Even have scenes where they try to hurt each other, but they regenerate from almost any form of harm towards them. I think the banter can be funny too. Sadly, Gump Spongebob destroys Gumball, and it's not really a fair fight. I think this will work if you include Gumball's uni feats, which are either considered outliers or inconsistent, and give Gumball his non-standard equipment like the remote that Rob you had. But knowing people, they'll probably won't allow Gumball to use his non-standard equipment. Oh, and I think this fight would should be hand-drawn. Sprites could work, but hand-drawn would work better with characters as cartoony as Spongebob and Gumball. From a cartoon matchup I like to another, we have Pinkie Pie vs. Unikitty. Two pink unicorn slash pony characters with happy-go-lucky personalities and are considered scary when angry. Not crazy, phonetic, phonetic, am I saying that right? Whatever, but I personally like it. I think you can have a funny and silly fight and probably some goofy banter from both characters. I guess this does suffer from the problem of them not wanting to fight each other, but I think you can have the fight start with them doing a friendly play fight or something like that, and then it gets serious. I don't know, maybe this isn't the best pinky matchup, but I personally like it. Also, this would work as well in hand-drawn animation as well. Sonic the Hedgehog vs Mega Man is a matchup I don't really care about. It's not bad, but it doesn't vibe with me. There are two versions of the matchup I do really like though. It's classic Sonic vs Classic Mega Man, and the one I'll be talking about in this section, Super Sonic from Sonic the Comic vs Dark Mega Man.exe. 
Both are evil sadistic versions of the protagonists who were created via them absorbing some sort of energy. Both get separated from their original bodies and are a manifestation of evil and wouldn't hesitate to hurt their friends if needed to. At one point they become good and both meet their end by a girl when trying to absorb energy. They end up rejoining the main protagonist's body again. I really like this matchup, it's my preferred for both. I know Broly and the Juggernaut exist for Super Sonic, or Fleetway Sonic in general, but Broly is more of an alt in my opinion, and the Juggernaut is a meh in my opinion. And I don't know any others for Dark Mega Man, so this is easily my preferred for him. I think this can be one of Death Battle's most sadistic f battles yet. Admittedly, I don't really know much about the animation and banter material, but I can imagine the animation will contain some destruction and blood or and whatever Dark Mega Man bleeds if he does it all. The banter will contain the most sadistic lines in Death Battle history and evil laughter too, I, if I can imagine that. I really think this can make a great episode. I think this works more as a sprite fight. Sprite fight. Dark Mega Man doesn't really have good sprites as far as I know, but Dark Mega Man is pretty much a Mega Man.exe recolor, so they can probably recolor the Mega Man.exe sprites they used in the Mega Man Battle Royale, and boom, they got Dark Mega Man. But yeah, I think this works better as a sprite fight. Sadly, Dark Mega Man wins now from what I've heard, which is sad because I kind of like Fleetway Sonic, even though I didn't read the comics lol. But yeah, this is if this does happen, I'll be happy. Let's go into a YouTube battle. Mario from SMG4 versus Sonic from the Sonic Zombie series. The connections the connections are, sorry, are idiotic parodies of iconic video game characters from YouTube that go on random and wacky adventures dealing with the threats of their verse. For Mario, it's any bad guy in the SMG4 verse, and for Sonic, it's zombies, along with Eggman on occasion, Silver, and Scourge. The connections are small and simple, but I think it works very well. The fight can start with Mario sitting on the ground with a plate of spaghetti, and Sonic walks past holding a Starbucks cup and steps on Mario's spaghetti. This will piss Mario off, and then he'll throw something, probably a rock, at Sonic, making him drop his Starbucks, and this will piss Sonic off as well. And the fart fight, sorry, the fight starts from there. The fight would be really good with both characters using some of their crazy abilities slash attacks. Maybe even adding Sonic's Hummer. Even having them at one point have them fight with Gmod Ragdoll's physics. Which could be funny and fitting considering the characters. Speaking of which, the animation needs to be 3D, preferably from the SFM team. And the banter has the potential to be really funny, with Mario's banter being edited Mario voice clips and meme voice clips in general, while Sonic's banter would be him saying random insults and of course saying hooba dooba. This has potential f to being a very good meme slash gag episode if it happens. Sonic Zombie Sonic does lose this sadly, but a SMG4 Mario dub isn't too bad, I guess. Cartoons are good. Some demons are cool. Demonic cartoons? Even better. Okay, probably not. But these demonic tunes are cool. Bendy vs. Schizo. Two killer cartoon characters who are both of inky nature, whose cartoons came out in the same time period. They were soon forgotten and due to their monstrous corrupt nature were casted away and due to this they tend to kill like mindless beasts. This matchup is pretty good in my opinion and is honestly the best for both. I know Huggy Wuggy and Cuphead exist for Bendy and Cartoon Cat exist for both. While I do think Huggy is a good alt, I would honestly prefer it happening until the game is finished. Uh, poppy playtime and Cuphead versus Bendy works more for me if it is cartoon Cuphead versus cartoon Bendy 
and Cartoon Cat is a matchup I'm not interested in for both. Probably because of my mostly unjust bias against Cartoon Cat. But yeah, I think this works better for both in my opinion. The animation could start like a normal 80s cartoon, where Schizo goes on a little walk, then he bumps into Bendy, who greets him with a handshake. Schizo then shakes Bendy's hand with a tight grip on Bendy's hand. Bendy realizes Schizo is gripping his hand very tight, so he tries to pull out of the handshake. But Schizo won't let go of his hand. Bendy will then look up at Schizo and find out that his eyes are glowing red and his teeth is now sharp. Bendy will attempt to escape, but Schizo won't let him go. Then Schizo proceeds to tear Bendy apart, something like in Schizo's cartoons. Afterwards, it will show how Bendy, now a inky puddle, as Schizo walks away with ink all over his body. Then Bendy regenerates and turns into his ink demon's form, then charges at Schizo, and Schizo is greeted with a punch to the back of the head, knocking him down. Then an ink puddle appears under him, then drags him down, where he is taken to Joey Drew's studio. Bendy then appears and growls at Schizo, where Schizo gets up with a huge grin on his face, then charges at Bendy to attack, in which the real fight begins. I think this would be a real fun way to start this fight, and the fight itself can be good too with their both similar abilities. I think the f animation potential can be good. I think animation could work with hand drawn and sprite. Hand drawn for the start, and some more hand drawn mo moments, and sprite for the main fight. I think it could work. I'm pretty sure Schizo wins, but who knows. Either way, cool matchup in my opinion. Team Fortress 2 is a game I didn't play much. I only played a little bit of the Orange Box version and never played it again. But it's a game I like. Red vs Blue is a web series I don't watch much of, but still seems like a fun little series. With me mentioning those series, you probably know what matchup is next. Soldier from TF2 vs Sarge from Red vs Blue. Red clad over a the top soldiers with shotguns de dedicated to their cause who are also played for comedy. That's all the connections I can get for this matchup, but this kind of vibes. The animation potential can be fun and destructive and the banter can be golden if done right. I think the animation can be done by the same people who did Red vs Blue. I don't know what people call that animation team. Though I think the SFM can work with both characters comedic size sides I mostly just want this animation in 3d because I don't know how they'll do it in sprites and I don't think Candrom works I heard Sarge's Sarge loses now which is sad but it, a soldier dub is cool too unfortunately I think this might be a boomsticks dad episode because of Sarge now I don't really mind the boomstick dad's jokes but I know a lot of people that do mind it. But I think they can somehow make it work. Maybe they can use Macho Man versus Randy's Macho Man versus Kool-Aid Man, sorry, as an example, but do some things differently. For example, have a much longer fight and don't put too much focus on the Boomstick's dad plot point. But make it somewhat a part of the episode where it's not annoying. Those are some examples of how, in my opinion, they can make the Boomstick Dad plot work in this matchup, if it ever happens. And who knows, it might, keyword might, end all da Boomstick Dad jokes all together. But either way, I'd like to see this happen, and we'll be happy if it turns out good. Sully vs. Shrek was an idea I kinda liked, and I still like to this day. But nowadays, Sully has a way better matchup, in my opinion. You probably know what it is by now. That matchup is Sully vs. Glamrock Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. This honestly vibes two colorful brutes that may look menacing but are actually gentle giants. 
They meet a young kid, Boo and Gregory, in which they become attached to and become father figures to. They help the kids escape from the shady corporation they work for, Monsters Inc. and Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex, and also protect the kids from antagonistic members of their kind, animatronics and monsters, nobly Mr. Waternoose and Vanny. Short and basic, but fucking vibes. I think the animation can be very good. It could start with Sully and Boo, and maybe Mike, entering the Mega Pizzaplex via a door, and Sully ends up losing Boo while exploring the place. He even f he f he then finds Boo playing with Gregory, and when he approaches the kids, Gregory gets scared of Sully, thinking he is with Fanny. Then Freddy comes in and asks Sully who he is. Then Gregory hides behind Freddy and tells him that Sully is on Fanny's side. Freddy would most likely believe Gregory because Sully is someone Freddy has never seen before. It would probably and probably would see him as a threat. Sully tries to explain himself, but Freddy throws the first punch to Sully's face. This makes him angry and tells Boo, and maybe Mike, to go hide somewhere, making Freddy to tell Gregory to do the same. The two kids run, runs and hides as Sully and Freddy stay behind. Sully tries to de-escalate de de the fight, but Freddy is too protective of Gregory's safety to listen and throws another punch, only for it to be caught by Sully. Sully, not having any choice at this point, then punches slash pushes Freddy away, in which the actual fight starts. This beginning might be a little wonky, probably because of my explaining skills, but I think it can work. Now before I get into the possible things that can be in the animation, this fight probably works better with Freddy's upgrades, so I'll be giving Freddy his upgrades for this. Anyways, you can have the two tree blows with their claws, if you're giving Freddy Monty's claws. You can also have Freddy try to stun Sully with Chico's voice box, but fail because Sully isn't an animatronic. Then Sully lets out a loud roar that at Freddy, so loud it probably echoed throughout the entire Pizzaplex, and probably stunning Freddy. And while stunned, Sully will just punch Freddy to the ground. I don't know why, I just find that to be funny. If that, that, ha that scene happens. Anyways, and you can also have a scene where Sully tries to hide, but Freddy uses Roxy's eyes to find him. I think the animation can be fun. I, also, I think it should be in 3D, because I think it works better, by the way. You can even have moments where you, one of the them, probably Sully, tries to de-escalate the fight, but failing. I just think it can be good, and you can even have an emotional scene at the end. Now I'm going to use Sully as the winner while Freddy is the loser, cause I believe Sully wins, but the ending can work either way. So the ending can have Sully throwing one good slash at Freddy with his claws, damaging Freddy very badly to where he's about to die. Before he does, Gregory comes in, crying and hugging Freddy. Boom comes up in and looks at Sully with sadness and fear. Sully then realizes what he has done and being kind-hearted immediately apologizes. Freddy forgives Sully, even apologizing for attacking first. Freddy then asks Sully to take care of Gregory for him, and Sully will do it to make up for what he did. Then Freddy dies, happy to know that Gregory will be in safe hands. Yeah, this kind of sounds like the ending of Tanjiro vs. Jonathan. Huh. Anyways, Gregory cries at the fact that his pretty much father has died. Boo cries as well, probably, and Sully feels bad for what he did. But that moment is ruined by the damaged animatronics, Chica, Roxy, and Monty, and maybe even Vanny for the hell of it. Knowing there's an, they're, they're in danger, Sully grabs Boo, and maybe Mike, and Gregory, and goes to find a place to hide, leaving Freddy behind. The animation ends with Sully, Boo, and Gregory hiding, and Gregory still crying about Freddy's death. 
Then Sully promises though he'll protect Gregory to make up for what he did. Sully then asks if Gregory trusts him, and then the animation ends before Gregory gives an answer. And that's how I think the, uh, the emotional scene can go. Yes, it's a bit wonky, and I'll admit, a little inspired by Tondre vs. Jonathan. But either way, I think the ending can be emotional if done right, and can work with either characters losing. But yeah, I love this matchup. It vibes, has interesting animation potential, and has potential to be emotional. I just really like the existence of this matchup, and I would be happy if it happened. Unfortunately though, Shrek vs. Sully is the most likely to happen first. Which I would still be happy if it does happen, because I still like Shrek vs. Sully, and it's understandable because it's more of a legacy match than Sully vs. Glamrock Freddy. But if they do for some reason decide to do this matchup, I'll be extremely happy. And if they do almost everything I wanted for this matchup, it'll probably become one of my top 10 favorite episodes of Death Battle. Anyways, I've been rambling about this matchup for far too long. Sorry about that, by the way. Anyways, moving on. Sans Skeleton is one of, if not my most favorite character in fiction. I like him so much that my OC is based off of him. And to show that love for Sans more, I'm going to talk about my preferred matchup for Sans next. Sans vs. The Judge from Off. Two lazy fourth wall breaking entities who are aware of the protagonists and their true intentions. After the protagonist kills everyone in the ga their games, they step in and judge them for their actions, trying to kill them themselves. But they ultimately fail. This matchup is pretty cool. The animation potential can be decent, though Sans is probably the one getting the most hits in. But I think you can work in some moments where Pablo tries uses his attacks to attempt to hit Sans, but mostly missing because Sans keeps dodging. And also have moments where Sans almost gets hit. You can probably even slip in moments where one of the characters realize their opponent is isn't so different to them and will feel bad for for them mid fight. You can probably tell this potential is mostly taken from the animation rewind sorry rewind rumble episode and that's because that's all the animation potential I can think of. There's probably more but I think it can still be a fun fight. A sprite fight as a matter of fact. I think the banter can be decent too. You can have Sans say his puns as usual <clears throat> and Pablo can either respond with his own puns or respond with a remark that suggests that he found a pun funny or respond with a remark that suggests that he found the a pun unfunny. And when they start getting serious they start saying some serious lines of dialogue Maybe even throw in Sans's It's a Beautiful Day Outside quote. I think this could make a good episode. Though I heard this matchup suffers from not being able to actually start without breaking their characters. As in, have the judge attack one random monster or papyrus and Sans attacks. In, in game, Sans hasn't shown to attack the player after killing one monster, even if the monster was papyrus. Instead, Sans waits until everyone is dead, and then he steps in. And that's where the fight nev might never st start because Pablo wouldn't even have a reason to kill everyone in the underground to begin with, escalating a fight with Sans. So this matchup does suffer in which a fight wouldn't actually start. Though then again, I've recently heard that some people figured out a way for this fight to start without breaking characters. So that's cool. I don't know what that way is, and, but I really do hope it gives a good reason for the characters to uh, f f fight. I've actually heard that this is semi-confirmed, but I'm not sure if that's true. If it is, then I hope it does happen one day. But so yeah, this matchup is good. And we are here at my 10th most wanted. And it's <clears throat> probably the most destructive match on this list. Or at least the match that will cause the most chaos. Bill Cipher versus Discord. Two beings with chaotic nature, natures which defies their very being. 
when they get their way, they like to reality warp everything in their de destined towns. Gravity Falls and Ponyville. <clears throat> Spreading chaos in a more evil way, mind games are their main thing and they utilize it more than anything else because it helps get their way more often than not. Radiality warping is also one of their main things as they always use it to make chaos and fun. That's all the connections I can find and it kind of vibes. The animation potential can be great and I think it is only limited by your imagination. And the banter between the two can be fun too. Though I think this match suffers from not being able to actually start because Discord is reformed. Now the obvious fix to the this is to use Discord before he was reformed, but I think a lot of people would be pissed about that. So here's an, an idea that I think can work. Bill enters Equestria and starts causing chaos and warping reality. Princess Celestia realized that no pony can defeat this new threat, and the only possible being that could be Bill is Discord. So Celestia demands Discord to defeat Bill by any means possible. That even means warping reality and causing causing chaos of his own. As long as he beats Bill, of course. It's a risky decision, but it's a risk they're going to have to take. Discord thinks about it for a moment and agrees to do it. So now free to do whatever he wants, he goes out to start a fight with Bill. Bill. Cypher, yeah. Now admittedly, this is kind of a wonky start to the fight, and probably doesn't fix the Discord being redeemed problem. But if it if it's any way to get the fight started, I'll be happy. But yeah, I think this can be a fun, wacky, and chaotic fight with fun banter. I think it can work with multi-styles, with them starting with hand-drawn, and then at some point sprites, and then at another point 3D, and then back to hand-drawn, I think it could work if done right. Unfortunately, I heard this might not happen, and it's more, more likely Bill vs. Sh Shumagriff? Is that right? Shumagriff? I don't know. I'm just going to say how I see it. Well, it, it's more likely Bill vs. Shumagriff will s happen. Now, I would understand why Bill vs. Shumagriff would most likely happen. And I won't necessarily get upset if it did happen. But I'm just not a big fan of the matchup, to be honest. There's also Dementio, which is, which I wouldn't mind. And SMG Zero, which fuck off. And Sans, which is a good old in my opinion. But I already have Sans vs. Judge. And Discord doesn't really have any other ma good matchups, so I'll skip him. But yeah, I would understand why they decide to do Bill vs. Shuma. But Bill vs. Discord is my preferred for both, and I'll be happy if they actually do this one one day, and as well as the other matchups on this list. And that is my list of my top 10 most wanted death battles. I hope you like it, if not, please be dis res respectful about it. And if you want, share your own top 10 comments. Also, just want to state again that I'm aware that most of these won't happen. I'm just saying that I'll be happy when they do happen, if ever. But uh, you think. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.